What's up guys, John here and welcome back to John Moon Studios. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can render your click track. Let's get right to it. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is you need to render a time signature track. Once you render a time signature track, depending on what your tempo is, so I'm going to leave it at 120. Let's go ahead and listen to what 120 sounds like. Okay, so we want to render this into an audio track. That way, when we're working on a project and we want to send something remotely, the person who is performing the tracks can make sure that they're using the same click as you, same tempo. So we need to make sure that we render an audio click track for them. And also in case there's any tempo changes, they're able to know exactly what tempo it is that you change to. If you have any time signature changes as well, so let's say here I drew in a 3-4 time signature. And then here I went back to a 4-4 time signature. You're going to be able to preserve those clicks. That way it accents on the 3-4 and it accents on the 4-4 time signature. So now that we have that settled and we have our click track there, all we need to do is click this drop down menu in the time signature track, this arrow right here, and you're going to do render audio click track between locators. We got to make sure we select our range. Sorry about that. And now we do render audio for click track. There you go. You've done a click track. So now let's go ahead and listen to this click track. Let me turn off the regular metronome by clicking this button down here or pressing C on my keyboard. And let's listen to the click track with the different time signatures built in. All right, so we have our time signature changes and we can clearly hear inside of the audio click. So let's say you were sending this to a studio. In a studio console, this is actually a stereo track. So it would take up two faders in the console for them to be able to hear this click track. So in order to send them just a mono track, that way it could fit into one fader instead of taking up two faders, is you're gonna highlight the click track. So you're gonna click on it, make sure it's white, go to project, go to convert tracks and then do multi-channel to mono. What this is gonna do is you can leave the settings exactly how it is here on the screen and you could click okay. Now what it's gonna do is it's gonna render a left and a right of your click track and all you need to do is you could just delete one because all you need is one mono track. Now the next thing you do is you go to your file, you export, and then you could either do a single, if you just solo the click track, you could just do a single bounce. And if you have Cubase Pro and you're bouncing out multiple stems, you can go to the multiple section and then just click the audio click left. If that's the only one you're rendering, then you can get rid of the stereo track and now you have a mono click track. If you have any questions throughout the video, just go ahead and leave your comments down below and I'll get to them as soon as possible. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up, subscribe. Don't forget to hit the ring button so you don't miss any of my weekly videos. Also, don't forget to check out the John Moon Studios store. I have a variety of merch with the official John Moon Studios logo on it. So go ahead and check that out. Also, I'm gonna leave a link in the description to my Patreon with as little as a dollar a month. You can help support the channel. And as always, don't forget to share with your musician friends. I'll see you guys soon.